guys in this video lecture we'll be continuing successive differentiation so now it is number 10 which is our standard derivative that is y is equals to 1 upon x square plus a square so let's get started so we won't directly proceed to y1 first we'll try to arrange it properly so we can use it to our own advantage x square minus iota a whole square so i, I is where i is minus 1 root under minus 1 so if you square it it will come out the same so again more simplification is required x plus iota a times x minus iota a now we will split in partial fraction where this will be x minus ia this will be minus of x plus ia by doing this uh, on the numerator a term will a term of 2 ia will come so we have to divide it by 2 ia to get this step now this comes our y to form, general formula of y n derivative and this also so we will apply uh, different nth derivative formula for these two terms so it will be like this yn will be equals to so taking this is our outside 1 upon 2 ia this will be uh, this will be minus applying the formula this will be minus 1 to the power n n factorial upon x minus iota a to the power n plus 1 here value of a that is previously it was 1 so it is 1 to power n that is 1 and for the same this will be minus 1 to the power n n factorial upon x plus iota a whole to the power n plus 1 so this is our y n so now we have to again simplify it very precisely and nicely so taking common minus 1 to the power n n factorial upon 2 iota a we get this condition this will go out to the numerator so this will looks like this x minus iota a whole to the power minus n plus 1 this will be minus x plus iota a whole to the power minus n plus 1 so now now we have uh, we have to again put assume something let a is e x equals to r cos theta a will be our r sin theta now r will be x square plus a square and theta will be tan inverse a upon x so now move on to this so this will be minus 1 to the power n and factorial 2ai this will be r cos theta minus r sin theta whole to the power minus n plus 1 this will be minus r cos theta minus sorry r plus sin theta uh, this will be iota I missed it i i sin theta whole to the power minus n plus 1 so now just simplification taking r to the power minus n plus 1 and minus 1 n factorial 2ai common we get this will be our cos theta minus iota sine theta this will be minus of n plus 1 this will be minus r cos theta plus iota sine theta whole to the power minus n plus 1 so this comes our de Moivre's theorem which we have studied in complex numbers chapter basically so applying that we get this will be minus of n n factorial 2ai r to the power minus n plus 1 so this will be cos n plus 1 theta plus sine n plus 1 theta 
this sign we know anything sign minus of sign gets gets minus of sign so the minus minus gets plus now here it will be minus cos n plus 1 theta this will be plus sign of n plus 1 theta so now these two terms gets cancelled out so it will be minus 1 whole to the power n in factorial upon 2ai r to the power minus n plus 1 this will be 2i sin of n plus 1 theta 2i this gets cancelled out now we can take comma uh, we can arrange it properly minus 1 to the power n n factorial upon a so this will be sine of n plus 1 theta so this we can put this back here so it will be a of a sine theta n plus 1 we got from here we converted this to this nothing else so now our final answer will be yn is equals to minus 1 to the power n n factorial so this will get a to the power n plus 1 and 1 so this will be a to the power n plus 2 this will be sine of n plus 1 this goes to the numerator so this will be n plus 1 theta and this will times sine of n plus 1 theta where theta is equals to tan inverse x by a so this is our basic formula so if you had any problems comment below and if you did like my video hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you